this video we are going to learn about the chromatic number of different types of simple graph specifically we will determine the chromatic number for these six types of simple graph now what do you mean by chromatic number chromatic number of a graph is the minimum number of colors needed to color its vertices such that no two adjacent vertices share the same color let's start with the first case that is the complete graph here we need to find how many colors are required to color these vertices of the complete graph so that no adjacent vertices have same color means if there is an edge between two distinct pair of vertices then we cannot assign as the same color here we have considered the first case that is the k3 because it is a complete graph with three vertices the next case we have taken as a k4 and the next case we will study for the k5 now let's think how we can color this graph let's start by assigning a color to the first vertex suppose we color it as red now we cannot assign red color to this adjacent vertex because it is connected with this red color vertex so we need to use a different color let's choose green next this vertex cannot be green or red because it's adjacent to the both red and green color vertex so we need to use a different color let's assign it yellow now total number of color used in this case is 3 so we can say that chromatic number of k3 graph is 3 now let's see how to color the k4 graph and determine its chromatic number we start with the first vertex suppose we assign it as red color the second vertex cannot be a red color because it is adjacent to the first vertex so we assign it as a different color let's choose green the third vertex is connected to both first and the second this means it cannot be a red or green so we need to use some another color let's assign it yellow the fourth vertex is connected with the first second as well as a third vertex this means it cannot be a red green and yellow so we need to use the new color let it be blue the total number of color used in this case is 4 therefore the chromatic number of k4 graph is 4 now let's see how to color the k5 graph determine its chromatic number so we will start with the first vertex so we assign it as red color the second vertex is adjacent to the first so we cannot give it to the red color so let's assign it as green the third vertex is adjacent to the first as well as the second vertex this means it cannot be a red or a green so we assign it yellow the fourth vertex is connected to the first second third this means we cannot assign red color green color as well as yellow so we can assign it as blue the fifth vertex is connected to all four previous vertices it means it cannot be a red green yellow and blue so we must use a new color let's choose it purple so the chromatic number of k5 is equal to 5 from here we can conclude that the chromatic number of kn is equal to n because in k3 total number of color used is 3 for k4 total number of color used as a 4 for k5 five colors are used and in kn if we have n vertices total color used in that case is n now let's determine the chromatic number of the cycle for the different values of n provided n is greater than equal to 3 case 1 we have considered the cycle with the three vertices so in this case let's assign a first vertex as the purple color the second vertex is adjacent to the first one so it means we need to choose the different color let's choose yellow the third vertex is adjacent to the first as well as a second so it must be assigned a third color green since three colors are required so it means chromatic number of c3 is equal to 3 taking the next case c4 
cycle with the four vortices we assign the first vortex as green the second vortex is adjacent to the first so we assign it as red the third vortex is adjacent to second but not with first so we can again use the color green the fourth vortex is adjacent to the third but not with the second so we assign it again as red only two colors are used so the chromatic number of c4 is equal to 2 taking the next case that is a c5 with the five vertices assign the first vertex as purple the second vertex is adjacent to the first so assign it yellow the third vertex is adjacent to the second so we can again assign it as the purple because it is not adjacent with the first vertex the fourth vertex is not adjacent with the second vertex but it is adjacent to the third so we assign it yellow color the last vertex is adjacent with the first as well as the fourth it means we cannot assign purple and yellow color so we can assign the new color suppose green so the chromatic number of c5 is equal to 3 taking the next case as c6 with the six vertices so first vertex can be color as green but we cannot assign second vertex as the green color because it is adjacent to the first vertex now think can we assign this vertex as a green yes because they are not adjacent the next vertex cannot be a green because they are adjacent but the next vertex can color as a green because that is not adjacent with the first and the third vertex now we can assign a new color to the second vertex let it be yellow can we assign this vertex as a yellow yes because they are not adjacent even the sixth vertex is not adjacent with the second and the fourth so it means we can assign it yellow color so the chromatic number for this graph is 2 now we have the conclusion for the odd values of n the chromatic number is 3 whereas for the even values of n that is the number of vertices is even in that case the chromatic number is 2 for the cycle so in short we can write the chromatic number of cn is of the two form 3 when n is odd 2 when n is even so when we say n is odd definitely we cannot take n as the 1 because we have the condition that n is greater than or equal to 3 similarly when we say n is even it means we are not dealing with n is equal to 2 as it is not satisfying this condition. Next we have the simple graph as a wheel graph Wn with n plus 1 vertices where n is greater than or equal to 3. It means minimum number of vertices in a wheel graph is 4 when we take n is equal to 3. As we know that the wheel graph is formed with the help of cycle by adding an additional vertex that is connecting to all the vertices of cycle so in this case we will analyze the chromatic number for the w3 w4 w5 w6 for the chromatic number of w3 graph means a wheel with the four vertices as we know that the base is the cycle c3 that is consisting of the three vertices forming a triangular. From the previous result, we know that C3 requires the three colors. It means we can use the same color in this case for the outer vertices. Now an additional central vertex is connected to all three cycle vertices. Since this central vertex is adjacent to all these different color vertices, it cannot be assigned any of these three colors used. Therefore, we need to use a new color. Let's suppose pink. So, total number of color used in this case is 4. So, the chromatic number of W3 is equal to 4. 
Follow the same procedure for the wheel graph W4 that contains the 5 vertices. The base is the cycle C4 that consists of the 4 vertices which can be colored using the two colors as shown here. But the central vertex is adjacent to both of these color vertices. This means the central vertex require a third color and hence the chromatic number of the wheel graph W4 is equal to 3. That contains the 5 vertices. Moving to the case of W5, that consists of the cycle C5 and hence we have used the same color here. The central vertex is connected to all the vertices of the cycle so we need to assign a new color. So total color used in this case is right now 4. Previously in a cycle total number of color is used as a 3. One new color we have used it means its chromatic number is 4. The same procedure we can follow for the W6. The outer vertices color is same as the cycle C6 but the central vertex get new color because that is adjacent to all these vertices. So its chromatic number is 3. In short, we can conclude the chromatic number of a wheel graph with n vertices of the cycle or we can say that with n plus 1 vertices is equal to either 4 or 3. 4 when this n is odd and 3 when n is even. The next case we have the complete bipartite graph that is represented by capital K with the subscript M and N. Basically it consists of the two disjoint sets of vertices where every vertex of the one set is connected with the every vertex of the other set. Here we will analyze the chromatic number for the K23 graph and K33 graph and then generalize the result. For the first case, we have divided the vertices into two sets, two vertices in a one set and three vertices in a another set. We start by assigning the red color to the first vertex in a first set. Now can we assign the red color to this second vertex in a set 1? Yes, because they are not adjacent to each other. Now let's move to the set 2. The first vertex in a set 2 is adjacent to the both red colored vertices. So it cannot be a red. We assign it blue color. Now can we assign blue color to next two vertices in a set 2? Yes, because they are not adjacent to each other. So, total number of color used in this case is 2. So, the chromatic number of K23 is 2. Take the case of K33. Again, we have divided the vertices into two sets. In one set, we have three vertices. In a second set, we have again three vertices. We start by assigning the red color to the first vertex in a set 1. Can we assign red color to these two vertices in a set 1? Yes, because they are not adjacent to each other. Now let's move to the set 2. Each vertex in a set 2 is adjacent to all the vertices of the red color. Therefore, we cannot assign red color. So we need to use the new color blue. Now, they are not adjacent with each other. It means we can assign them blue color. So, total color used in this case is 2. So, its chromatic number is again 2. From these examples, we can observe a pattern in a complete bipartite graph that contains the m vertices in a 1 set, n vertices in a set 2. All the vertices in a set 1 are not adjacent with each other as well as all the vertices in a set 2 are not adjacent with each other. So it means we can assign a same color to all these m vertices. Suppose we are assigning the red color to all the vertices in a set 1. And for this set 2, we can assign the different color. Suppose it is as a blue because they are not adjacent with each other. 
So total number of color used in this case is always 2 and thus we can say that the chromatic number of complete bipartite graph is always 2. In short, if the graph is bipartite, then its chromatic number is always 2. So more generally, we can say that if the chromatic number of the graph is 2, clearly that graph is the bipartite graph. Now we have the last case that is the n cube. n cube is represented by qn where n represents the bit string of the length n. So in q1, we have two vertices because we have the two possible cases with the bit string of length 1 that is either 0 or 1. In Q2, we have 2 raised to power 2 vertices. And in Q3, 2 raised to power 3 vertices. It means 8 vertices are there. Now, we need to determine its chromatic number. So, 2 vertices are there. So, we need to assign the different color. Suppose we assign this vertex as green. And the next vertex has blue color. Because they are adjacent with each other. So, it means chromatic number of Q1 is equal to 2. Now for the Q2, suppose we assign this vertex as blue color. The vertex 0, 0 is adjacent to 0, 1 and 1, 0. It means we cannot assign them blue color. But we can use the blue color for the vertex 1, 1. So for 0, 1 vertex and 1, 0 vertex, we need to use a new color. Let it be a red because they both are not adjacent with each other. So, in this case, the chromatic number is again 2. Think for the Q3 graph. Suppose this vertex is colored by blue. Now, we cannot color this vertex blue as well as this vertex blue. But we can color this vertex by blue because they are not adjacent. Now, point is, can we assign blue color to this? No, because they are adjacent. Can we use blue color to this one? Yes, because that is not adjacent with this vertex as well as this. Can we assign blue color to this vertex? No. Can we assign blue color to this vertex? Yes. Now, these four white color vertices are not adjacent with each other. It means we can use a different color from blue. Let it be red. So, total color used in this case is again 2. So, the chromatic number of Q and N is always is equal to 2. It is not depending upon the N. Moreover, we can say that Q and N is bipartite graph. Because recently we have done the result, if the chromatic number of the graph is 2, clearly that graph is a bipartite. 